Hi, my name is Cheryl. <laughs> Hi, my name is Chirag Singh, I'm nine years old, and I have a passion for pie. <laughs> Not cherry, apple, or chicken pot pie, but the number pie, which is commonly known as 3.14. However, pie is much more than that. Pie is a transcendental number, which means that it is break, never stops, and doesn't have a pattern. This is one of the reasons why pie is so difficult to calculate. Pie was first discovered in ancient times by the Greeks. At that time, pi was erroneously known as 3.13. This improper calculation of pi persisted for many years until Archimedes, a Sicilian mathematician, came along and corrected it. He calculated pi by using polygons inscribed and circumscribed around circles and calculated pi to our 3.14 version of pi. However, he only calculated pi to 30 digits. Since Archimedes, people all over the world have been obsessed with calculating pi. Even Newton and Leibniz, who developed calculus in the late 17th century, devised additional methods of calculating pi. Despite the fact that there are many different methods of finding pi, most of them are incorrect, even the most commonly cited equation of 22 over 7. These calculations are inaccurate because they are either too high or too low. Even though Morse formulas are incorrect, some are precise, such as Machian's formula. As time went by, people began using computers to calculate pi. In fact, calculating pi was used to test the proper functioning of early computers. The first recorded computer calculation of pi was done by a man named Ferguson on a desk calculator in 1947. He calculated pi to 710 digits. Because computers made calculating pi easier and faster, more and more people devoted themselves to computing pi. Just this year, a computer owned by Shigeru Kondo calculated pi to 10 trillion digits. That's a lot of pi. <laughs> he calculated this by using a special program. Despite the digits being calculated by computer, the process was quite lengthy and took just over a year. By now, you are probably thinking, Hmm, well, finding pi and calculating pi is somewhat interesting, but is that all? Of course not. Pi has many uses regarding measuring the area and circumference of circles and circular type objects. It is also used in probability calculations. When we truly consider how pi is used, we realize how important such calculations are when we are dealing with things such as asteroids traveling through our universe. Without knowing an asteroid's size, would we be able to defend ourselves if it were coming our way? Thank goodness we can use pi to help us determine such an object's size and likely trajectory. Because of pi's interesting uses, I'm obviously passionate about the number and what we can do with it. Because of my personal passion for pi, there are two things I'm seeking to do regarding pi. The first is to continue memorizing pi and attempt to break the current world record, which is presently 67,890 digits. I may only have 75 digits memorized, but next week I may have 90 digits and the week after that 116. It is only a matter of time and perseverance. The second thing I'm interested in doing with pi is calculating further digits. I plan on doing this by studying how other people have used computers in the past to calculate pi and seeing if I can devise a faster, more accurate method. Only time will tell if I can further develop our knowledge of pi. For me, pi is the most interesting number ever discovered, and we have learned so much from it and will continue to learn from it. That is why pi is my passion.